God bless you as you listen to him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm glad to be here once again. Uh, today the jam was extremely bad. Uh, just getting from uh, Kampala Road. Is it a Kampala Road, Ginger Road, to this place? It has taken me close to an hour. That's the distance which you should not take even uh, uh, seven minutes. So about five you are here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, Father, in the name of Jesus. We bless you for your holy name. You are wonderful, you are precious. You are mighty to save and mighty to deliver. Touch us and minister to us in a special way. Thank you for everybody here. Bless your people. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We want to continue to pray for our destinies. And we continue to look at the stars. The stars. I was teaching you last Sunday. That everybody has a star. And I began by telling you the story of this young man who had been a star hunter. How they can look at somebody's star, identify it, and hunt it down, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, it affect it is the brightness. They can swap it and somebody begin to use your destiny. And also they were talking about, uh, he says every human being has a star. You can see it right from the beginning. From the time he was born, the star appeared in heaven. We saw that in the house. We looked at uh, the, 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 the scriptures. We looked at uh, in Genesis. We saw in the house of Jacob, all his sons had the stars, 11 stars bowing before the stove of Joseph. Meaning that the star of Joseph was going to be stronger, was, strong, was going to be more successful than his brothers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we see Joseph uh, becoming a prime minister. Everybody bowing before him is known internationally because his star was brighter from the beginning. Now, uh, we saw also Jesus, Jesus' star. That his star was not a star, it was a star of a king. And the people who were wise in the spirit, the sorcerers, the sorcerers, they called them the, the magis, came from the east, following his star. They saw a star of the king and ended up in the, in the they stopped following it and went in uh, the king's palace thinking the prince has been born. 
Na echi seda chatu kaneba waba, neba genda murubidi duwa kabake ya liwe visede biongabalo oza wali wamo langida zali duwa. And the king discovered somebody else has been born who is going to rule. Kabaka ye na chizuro kufa kufa gezi gezi bali inti wali wamo mtu omla la zali duwa atenga teke duwa kufuga. And it became very costly to Israel. Nechitua lida omuendo mungi guangali ya Israel. They killed young people because uh, of that age thinking they are killing the the boy must die also. Nebataba na ba Israeli banja bobulenzi kumanga ba gambo na zali duwa na yai no kagenderamo. Now this guy told me that uh, also when they were fighting churches. Kati omulenzo no yanga manti gwe baba gabalu anisa makanisa. There is something which was similar between a church and a human being. Waliwe chintu nga che. You would see a star of a human being. But also, when a church is planted somewhere, it is a star appears. The star appears immediately. And younger churches have very bright stars. Because people are praying, people are fasting. So they try their best to fight the star. Now when you go to the scriptures, the thing that I see very related to man and uh, to a human being and the church. Is that both of them have angels, ministering angels. Let's look at um, uh, Hebrews 1.14 uh, NIV says are not angels ministering spirits sent to serve those who will inherit salvation um, King James says okay New King James says and are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister to those who will inherit salvation okay so, um, so the Bible is clear. It's telling us that, uh, okay, let me look at Amplified Version. Are uh, not all the angels ministering spirits sent, sent out by God to serve, accompany, protect those who will inherit uh, salvation? Hallelujah. Now let's also look at uh, Revelation chapter 2. Revelation chapter 2. From verse 1. Uh, the Bible says, Bible This is the Lord speaking. Write this later. Uh, let me use another version. Let me use or, okay, NIV. Uh, to the angel of the church in Ephesus, write. These are the words of him who holds the seven stars in his hand and walks among the golden lampstands. Now, um, you are seeing here you are seeing the Lord addressing the angel of the church. 
He kept on addressing church after church, but he addresses the angel. Meaning there was a ministering angel to the church station to look after the church, to look to fight for the church. He yes, hallelujah. Amen. Now, uh, so you see that the angels of God are fight. I mean, there the, the, is an angel assigned for human beings and there are angels assigned for God. I mean, for church. Now let's look also at uh, Revelation 12 from verse 1 to, uh, to 4. A great sign appeared in heaven. A woman, let me finish then you can uh, interpret in Luganda. A great sign appeared in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and a crown of twelve stars on her head. She, she was pregnant and uh, cried out in pain as she was about to give birth. Then another sign appeared in heaven, an enormous red dragon with seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns on its head. Its tail swept a third of the stars out of the sky and flung them to the earth. The dragon stood in, so, in front of the woman who was about to give birth so that it might devour the child the moment he was born. Huh? Can you read that? Omuchira guase sotoyo neguera ebitundu tundu bisatu ebiensi neguera ebitundu tundu bisatu ebiemu nyenye zomu banga era omuchira guase sotoyo negusule mu nyenye zowa nsi Sesota na imirira mu maso gw'omukazi e yali anatero kuzala asobole okulya omwana w'omuchalo oyo nga yakazalibwa Hallelujah Amen Now the Bible is telling us about uh, this uh, dragon Kati Bible yetu gamba kumsota guno uh, the Bible is telling us about something that happened in heaven. We know that the dragon, Satan himself, Satan was one of the best angels in heaven. God is angels. He was a worshiper. He stood in the presence of God always. And laid worship. He was the most uh, beautiful cherub. But he rebelled against God. Isaiah describes the whole process, some of the process. You will find pictures here and there. So, but the Bible says this dragon stood, God showed John what happened. And he swept one third of the stars of God. From heaven and brought them on the earth. Now those, those were angels, one third of the angels in heaven. Were swept by this dragon. Or oh, they were deceived and cast out of heaven. So they became the fallen angels. They are the ones that are disturbing the earth today. But they are true angels of God that remain in heaven. The faithful angels who 
who minister to you and me every day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when uh, this guy talks about uh, a human being, every human being having a star, and also the church having a star, and also he, he emphasizes the people who are prayerful, people who are intercessors, preachers who are walking in righteousness, people who preach the gospel, their stars are very, very hard to, 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 to fight. Because God fights for them. They are very, very bright. They are very bright and you cannot fight them. So a church can be attacked. When a church is attacked, and the Christians become weaker in prayer. They walk in the world. You go in bondage. Because the Bible says, whoever sins is of the devil. So not every church belongs to the Lord. It is supposed to belong to the Lord. But it can be taken over by the enemy. There are many times when the rebels have cut off some parts of Uganda and yet they are supposed to be part of Uganda. When the president was in the bush, Ruero was uh, not part of Uganda almost. It was cut off. There's a time when a uh, Northern Uganda was cut off from the rest of Uganda because of the war there. Because of the rebels. So we are in two kingdoms contesting for supremacy, contesting for territory. Hallelujah. Amen. If you went to a Muslim school, and you preach to the gospel and warn those souls to the Lord and establish the mighty fellowship there. This is the territory you have taken away from the enemy. If you overrun a shrine, if you go to a shrine and preach and the witch doctor gets saved and all the people there get saved. The Bible talks about uh, in Acts chapter 8. And Philip went down to Samaria. And preached the gospel. And all the people received Christ. And he cast out demons. People got released. And there was rejoicing in the city. And even a witch called Simon also got saved. That territory had been under another kingdom. But when Simon entered, I mean when Philip entered, he got, got it. And he took it for the kingdom. So there are places where there have been very powerful churches over the years. Like the city of Ephesus. Those, the, uh, it is in Turkey. Today's Turkey. Islam took it over and there's no Christian there. The enemy took over. 
uh, wali wo mwali ngamwe kanisa ya amanyi na yaba silamu ne bachiwamba ne bali ya obuli bukrista yobo no bwalimu Jesus had warned them if you don't hold fast to those things that you you have I will come and take away the star the Ye, life Yesu yali ayogedde nabo nga abalabu denga agamba singate munywerera ku bintu ebyo bye mutbadde mukole birunje ndija nenzijawe munyenye So they went under darkness because they were they neglected what they had Kakati ne bagenda mu kizikiza wansi wobufuzi bwenzikiza kubanga basula yo gwa nagamba ku bintu ebirunje bili bye batandika nabyo ko Hallelujah Amen Bea angel was withdrawn their star was withdrawn so when the enemy succeeds in overrunning an area a church you can be a church like this and somebody the agent of hell infiltrates the place what they are looking for is the altar if they can infiltrate the choir and bring in division in the choir so that when you stand here and you, you know you have divisions there are people who are following the choir leader then there is another uh, funny choir leader somewhere so there is a kind of a, there's always wars, rifts, and people are not in one accord. When you are singing the praises, does not you, it hinders the praises going before the Lord and uh, leading the people. The, uh, Opening the heavenlies, opening the heaven over the place. So then they release uh, spirit of immorality in, uh, in the choir, in the congregation. And in the leadership. So when the leadership fall into the spirit of immorality, the presence of God lives. The angel lives. And the church goes under darkness. Before long they begin doing things you don't understand. Some pastors go to witch doctors now for power. You find a church and a curse of, of homosexuality. Because even the leaders are involved in homosexuality. Hallelujah. Because the star has been affected. Now, when you are prayerful, it is difficult. For the enemy to hit you. Somebody walking in righteousness in continuous repentance, when you anything in your life, you you are ever, you know, checking your life, and if there's anything you forget, you you repent. You your star remains brighter and brighter. It becomes hard for the enemy to hit you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God always wants to fight for our stars. To bring back our blessings. That's why he says in Ezekiel chapter, uh, Ezekiel 21, 27 in uh, KJV. Uh, 21, 27. That is King James Version. I will overturn, overturn, overturn it, and shall be no more until he comes, whose right it is, and I will give it to him. So, 
Okutusa nyini cho lualija era ndichimua. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord says, I will overturn, overturn until he comes whose right it is, and I'll give it to him. Our, our sorcerer, a witch can steal your blessing by attacking your star. Omulogo asobola oku 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 kisago ngalumbye munyenye yo For you are dreaming when somebody is stealing your bag or stealing your documents Wenolo tanga wali wo muntu abensa wo yo oba baby wandi ko byo And you think it's a mere dream but somebody has exchanged your blessing, has taken it. And you begin suffering, meandering in life. You cannot get a meaningful job. While somebody is sitting in your blessings. But the Lord says, if you are born again and you trust the Lord, and you want to redeem your star, the Lord says, I will overturn, overturn it. Until he comes whose right it is, and I will give it to him. You as a Christian, your star is, your is supposed to shine forever. Even after your death, the Bible says, says in uh, Daniel 12, 3, those who are wise will shine as the brightness, as, the, as, the, as bright as the sky, and those who turn many righteousness, they will shine like the stars forever. No ruvanyu maru okufa kwa mumubiri guno eroli sigalo yaka yaka ngecha wandikuwa uchiga mamodani yeri kuminabili yoku satu, nti naba bali na magezi, bali yaka yaka na no kumasa masa okuo mubanga, Naba bachusa abanji ediobu tukirivu nge mwenye emirembe ne emirembe. Hallelujah. Amina. Stargazers are real. Aba unikirida edie mwenye nyo baba zinonya badala. The Bible talks about them. Bible yebo gerako. In Isaiah, Isaiah 47, uh, 12 to 13. Muisaya na musambu olwe kumine bilipa kakule kumine sa. He says keep, keep using your magic power and your charm. As you have always done. Maybe just, just maybe, you will frighten someone. You have worn yourself, uh, you have worn yourself out asking for advice from those who study the stars. And tell the future month after month. They are people who study stars. To tell the future, to tell the destiny. Destinies of people's destinies of our nations. They take their time. They are stargazers. They can study your star. They can hunt your star. Boba sobolo kuyige munyenye yo nebajekana that's why you need to have Jesus in your life. Yes, uh, was it Monday, 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 Monday? Today is what? Today, yeah, yeah, yeah. On Monday. They brought me a girl, a lady. Very young. I mean, she's uh, only 38. She works in a bank. By the time she was 30, she was at, you know, one of the senior positions in the bank. Very brilliant woman. She began falling sick. In a way she does not, uh, they took her to hospital. They have done every scan, did everything.
everything, every such, every medical investigations. They can't find the, the problem of the woman, the lady. But she's there dying. Almost dead. The stomach is swelling. She's, she can't walk. She, they brought her in a critical state. The, the family saw they were getting nowhere with the hospital. They drove her to church. Now, because we did not have a stretcher, we couldn't carry her from the vehicle to the office. We could not walk. I prayed for that lady. Because I, this is witchcraft. I prayed for her. If you would touch the back, she would be like dead. She would scream. She went back. They drove her back. Uh, yesterday they brought her. She was she moved from the vehicle. They were supporting her. She said, I must go to the office. The other time talking was a problem. Now she was able to be to speak at least things you hear. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when I began to pray for her, when she reached the office and I began to pray for her, the office, the powers were from the seniors who fear her, her, the star raise, her, her raising in ranks. Demons were confessing and saying where they were coming from. I cast out those demons and they were saying she's supposed to be a sacrifice. She went back when she would move her legs more steadily. Today she came back, they were just only holding the hand like this, not holding everywhere she was walking into my office. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We continued with deliverance. And I know by the end of this week she will be perfect and no more in the name of Jesus. But a star hunter had been threatened by her raise, her raising star. Now, a star hunter may not necessarily be somebody who has studied the stars. He can be like Herod. Herod knows there is a star raising and it's going to overtake his kingdom. So he hires people to deal with the kid, to, kid, to deal with that person and kill. Remember, Herod killed thousands of kids just because he was looking for one human being. A boss can see somebody threatening his job and he deals with them. A subordinate, a subordinate can see this one is up there and wants that job and wants to he deals with that person. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we have to pray, we have to fight for our stars. Hallelujah. Amen. You know when Herod is sent to kill the children of Israel, or the, the, the young babies, he did not this guy was 
You know, God had destined for him to be a king anyway. And he he warned the mother and the the parents to take away the kid. That's why that's why Psalms uh, 91 verse 7 says a thousand may fall at your right at your hand right at your side ten thousands at your right hand but it will not come near you Psalms uh, 91 verse 7 zaburi chenda mwemu olunyiri olwo musavu nti abantu olukumi bali gwira kulubirizirwo Era akakumi kumukono guo guadio teku, tekuli kusembedera gwe. A thousand will fall on your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but ah. nothing will come near you because this one who watches over you, Te, one who watches over your star. Tewali neaba mukwabo bali kugwiro, babali kusanya, kubanga wali wo akulabidida, wali wa labidide munyenye yo. Psalms 121 verse 4 says. Uh, 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 121 verse 4. Indeed, he who watches over Israel never slumbers or sleeps. This one who watches over you. He never slumbers. He never sleeps. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This one who watches over you. He will never slumber. Now, uh, in uh, Judges chapter 5, 20 and 21. The Bible talks about Caesarea fight, it's Deborah fighting Caesarea. Israel fighting and Israel was fighting under the leadership of Deborah. And fighting Caesarea. And they overcame him and killed him. But Deborah says in Judges 5, 20 to 21, he says from the pathway in the sky, the stars fought Sisera, and his soldiers were swept away by ancient Kishon River. I will march on and be brave. Uh, okay. 520 to 21. <laughs> Guaba to Adida, Dala, Omugo, Guo, O Gueda, Omuga Kisoni, Gue, Obulam, Gue, Obulamu Buange, Tambula, Gue, Obulamu Buange, Tambula, Namani. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, Deborah is saying, the stars fought against Sarah. The stars of the Israelites, they were standing right before God and they were strong. So when the enemy came, it is the power of God through their power of the stars that hit this man. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. So uh, the children of the thing was uh, physical, the war was physical, but it was up there. It, exactly, it was a spiritual war. 
Luari ruta lo monse yomo yonga jeru liru la vika na inga wanobalu wanamu buliwo. Let's look at what Obadiah says. Katutunulire Obadiah cha gamba. About the certain things. Kukubintu bino biebimu. The Bible says Obadiah 1, 3 to 4. New King James. Okay. The pride of your heart has, you can put it in Luganda for this one. Uh, Obadiah 1, 3 to 4. The, the pride of your heart has deceived you. You have, you, you who dwell in the cliff of the rock, whose habitation is high. You who say in your heart, who will bring me down to the ground. Though you ascend as high as the eagle, and though you set your nest among the stars, from there I'll bring you down, says the Lord. Amalala go mutima go, gakucha miza, gwe azimba mo mobi wuku, biomoluazi, gwatula wa guru, ayogera mu mutima gwenti, Ani alinsi sawansi. Oluo kuna. Ne wanku badengu olinya muguru. Ne mpungu era echisucho nga chite, chite kebwa wakati mumunye nye. Ndiku sawansi oveyo bwa yogera mukama. Hallelujah. Amen. This is the Lord speaking to uh, to the devil through uh, Obadiah. And he's telling the devil the pride of the devil's heart has deceived him. And he says, you who dwells in the cliff of the rock. Those are high places of worship where people go to seek powers. Whose habitation is high. You who say in your heart. Will bring me down to the ground. Do you ascend as high as the eagle. And though you set your nest among the stars. From there you will be brought down says the Lord. Yes, this enemy who wants to be up there, in the uh, up. He wants every human being to worship him. He wants the stars of God. We are the stars of God. He wants to be up there to be worshipped. God says, I'll bring you down. You bring him down. He cannot dominate, dominate our stars forever. We must be above. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One thing I want you to learn is to pray. Pray for your destiny. Walk in righteousness. Nothing will touch your star. Your star will, re will shine forever. But just in case it has been tampered with, the Bible says, Jesus has visited and redeemed, God has visited and redeemed his people. He has come to redeem us. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, let me finish with that scripture and the end. Uh, it is in uh, Luke chapter 1. Luke Luke Soka. Okay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No, let's let's listen here. Let's let's stand up in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, "Blessed is the God of Israel." 
Bible has visited and redeemed his people and raised a horn of salvation in the house of his servant David. That we redeemed from those who hate us. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, I want us to worship the Lord with our offertory, then we are going to pray. We are going to, con we are going to continue to pray for our stars. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord is here. His glory is here. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's bring our offertory. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let's come closer, let's come closer and we pray. If you're here and you want to be prayed for, just come forward. Father, we want to thank you for presence this day. We thank you for your anointing in this place. We thank you for this altar. Let's just raise our voices and pray for this altar. As you come. Father, we bless this altar. We bless this church, O oh God Almighty. We come against every satanic power that is fighting this church. We come against every witchcraft and sorcery. Every demonic power which fights this church, Lord. I come against it by the power and authority in the name of Jesus. I come against you, Satan, and all your power. I destroy your witchcraft and sorcery. I defeat you and destroy you. I defeat you and destroy you. Any attack on this church, I come against it. Every altar that is fighting this church, the agents that are fighting this church and they don't want this church to grow. They don't want this church to expand. Demons fighting the growth of this church. The population of this church We come against you and destroy you. Lord, I release the star of this church. I pray for the star of this church. Any attack on the, the star of this church I come against against it by the power and authority in the name of Jesus. Satan, you have no power over this church. We defeat you, we destroy you. Powers that are fighting the ministers of this church, the pastors, the eldership, the deaconry, the choir and the congregation we come against you by the power and authority in the name of Jesus we destroy you Satan we destroy you Satan we destroy you Satan we destroy you Satan we defeat your power we defeat your authority we defeat your hold on this church in the name of Jesus I command you to take your hand off this church in the name of Jesus 
We come against the prosperity that is fighting this church. The prosperities and powers that were stationed and launched to fight the church. We defeat you and destroy you by the power and authority in the name of Jesus. Satan, I destroy you by the power of God. Be destroyed right now. Lord, we release your power. We release your glory over the pastor of this church. Our, um, uh, upon the eldership of this church, upon the deacons of this church, I pray for every member of this church. I pray for the choir, O oh God Almighty, that your glory will be upon it. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Father, thank you for this man. I bless him in the name of Jesus. Satan, you have no power over him. You have no authority over him. I defeat you by the power of God. I destroy your power. Loose him completely. Loose him completely. I break witchcraft. I break sorcery. Satan, go never to come back. I destroy your power in the name of Jesus. I break everything that is fighting his star. The things fighting the stars of his children. I destroy by the power and authority in the name of Jesus. Satan, you have no power over this man and his family. I defeat you completely and destroy you. By the power and authority in the name of Jesus. Satan, I destroy you. Loose him in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Satan, I command you to lose this lady. Lose her life in the name of Jesus. Lose her devil. Lose her devil. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out.